Okay, uh, good afternoon. So today we will discuss about a uh, description of uh, a job or how to create uh, descriptions of um, a job advertisement. Is my screen visible? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, good. All right. Uh, so creating job descriptions. Uh, we will see uh, some introduction. What's a job description? Uh, its importance and components of uh, a job announcement or a job description. And finally, we will see things to avoid uh, in writing a job description. So what's a job description? Uh, it's a clear and concise outline of jobs required responsibilities, uh, qualification and necessary skills, right? So we need to clearly and concisely outline um, the qualifications, the skills needed for the uh, required job. Uh, essentially, it's uh, a detailed adver advertisement for an open position, right? Um, and the purpose of uh, job description is uh, mainly to attract uh, top top talents or candidates to your company uh, or organization, right? That's the the the, the main uh, objective of uh, a job description. So making it clear and concise. Uh, so that uh, top talents can uh, apply for your uh, open position, right? So uh, it's meant to set clear expectations, guide interviews, and answer the questions, uh, what does a person in that role do, uh, and others, other questions that um, top talents can uh, raise, right? The, the job description, uh, should answer those questions clearly. So for a job post to be uh, application worthy, uh, it needs to be first explain the basic components of the role uh, in a way that it resonates with high lift candidates or uh, top talents, right? But before we uh, dive into the components of job description, uh, let's see the, its importance. Its importance. Uh, the first one is um, role cl clarity. Um, the the job description has to uh, present a clear role for that uh, opening, uh, which means uh, it refers to clear understanding and definition of uh, an employee's job responsibilities, expectations, and performance performance standards within the organization. Uh, so this uh, role clarity ensures that employees know uh, exactly what's expected of them, uh, what their specific skills and duties are, and how uh, their performance will be evaluated, right? So the, doc, the job description uh, has to um present a clear role in in the announcement or in the advertisement uh the, the other one is it's important for uh, recruitment and selection process if we have a, a good job description it will be easier for uh the recruit to recruit or select uh, top talents so these are the two critical components of hiring process uh, in human resource management. So this will be, uh, or these two uh, components will be um, easier if we have uh, a clear job description. 
and they encompass the, uh, the entire process of identifying, attracting, and choosing uh, suitable candidates for a job within an organization. Uh, am I still audible? Is it clear? Uh, what's a job description? And yes, you are. Uh, it's sense. All right. Um, so the other importance is uh, performance management. Uh, that means uh, uh, it, it involves uh, detailed uh, role, roles and responsibilities and expectations outlined in the job description to guide, evaluate, and improve the uh, employee performance. Right. So this process ensures that uh, employees are clear about what's expected of them and they are assessed fairly and are provided with the necessary support and development uh, to succeed uh, in their roles. So uh, that, that the job description will support uh, this uh, performance management. Uh, the other one is legal protection, uh, which means if we have uh, a clear job description, uh, we will ensure that the uh, performance management practices comply with the employees' laws and regulations. And it also reduces risk of discrimination and other uh, legal issues. So these are the most important uh, importance of job description. Uh, so next we, we will see in detail what uh, a job description contains or the components of job description. So a job description starts with a title, right? Uh, the the, the title for the opening, uh, for example, it's a human resource manager or a data scientist, uh, etc. So that's the first component. And the, the second one is um, reporting to. That means uh, the recruit uh, will work for someone or there will be a supervisor uh, for that position. And in that case, we need to mention uh, the super, uh, supervisor's title, uh, et cetera. And the third one is uh, we need to give a brief or basic information about the, the company. Mainly it's related to the, the mission and the vision of uh, the company. Uh, so we need to write um, uh, uh, three or four statements or one paragraph that uh, gives basic information uh, about the company. And the next one is type of employment. Um, that can be a full-time, part-time, or uh, nowadays uh, remote. So it, it's, it's good to uh, specify uh, the uh, type of employment. And the other is salary. Um, the, the proposed salary, and it might be negotiable, um, uh, et cetera. So salary per hour or per annum, uh, or total package including base salary, um, commission, or other benefits has to be, um, uh, has to be written in the job description. Uh, hours, that means um, average number of hours per week, uh, it, it depends if it's a full-time, if it's a part-time or remote, the, the hours per week might be different. So that has to be uh, explicitly mentioned. And the other one is location, uh, the location of the position. And uh, it, sometimes it's necessary to, to mention if, there, uh, if uh, uh, travel is required for uh, that position. Uh, sometimes, uh, this the type of employment, salary, hours, locations uh, put together, and sometimes they they call it um, summary of the the position, summary of the position. If we want to make it in uh, detail, uh, we can uh, explicitly put them in bullet, uh, like type of employment, salary, hours, uh, locations, etc. But if you look at some uh, adverts. Uh, there is a section called uh, summary of the position and that contains basically uh, these last four components. Um, yeah, and uh, the next one is 
purpose of the position uh, that would be a short paragraph that describes the overall uh, purpose of the position and how it contributes to the goal or function of the business or the company so that might include um, authority um, authority level for example manager or support staff uh, etc uh, the the other one and the most important one uh, is responsibilities and duties uh, those can be uh, um, multiple responsibilities and duties so we have to uh, put them in bullet and uh, briefly describe uh, what the responsibilities and the duties for that uh, specific position um sometimes in the responsibility uh, we we include uh, work standard that means aspect of the responsibility will be reviewed to determine if the job is being done correctly uh, or not for example uh, we set time frame or number of complete tasks tasks per week etc so we might put uh, some work standards uh, so the responsibility can be multiple and the other one is academic and uh, trade qualifications and those can be uh, divided into two essential qualifications and uh, desirable qualifications uh, so we list the essential qualifications uh, for example uh, bsc in computer science or uh, bsc in engineering uh, etc those are uh, essential uh, qualifications but uh, sometimes we might add uh, more qualifications as uh, desirable qualifications which means uh, they, they, they are not essential that means uh, we might include like uh, msc in computer science is um, more preferable uh, something like that uh, and, uh, and the other component is work experience and skills uh, like the, the qualifications we will have uh, essential and uh, desirable work experience and skills so we need to list first the essential ex uh, experience for that uh, position uh, for example <clears throat> minimum two years of general administration or uh, reception uh, experience right that's that's essential and uh, desirable qualifications it can be uh, it, it, it can be experience i mean uh, uh, experience working with uh, uh, some uh, department uh, in this case like manufacturing environment uh, etc uh, so these are uh, some of the the components and we also can include personal qualities and behavioral uh, traits uh, just like the uh, qualifications and the work experience we can put them as uh, essential and uh, desirable desirable so these are the, the components but different templates will have uh, different components sometimes they might they, they they make it in detail by putting each and uh, every component uh, sometimes uh, they they uh, compile it uh, in one uh, in one section um so the the last section is things to avoid in a job description uh, since our main target is to attract uh, top talent the job description has to be clear and concise right so uh, we need to um, avoid uh, some things that might uh, not attract the, the top talents so the first uh, one is high density job, job uh, i mean job description um if it's dense uh sometimes it's difficult to read and that may result in uh qualified candidates leaving the page before even uh apply for the position right uh including only essential activities and avoid mentioning tasks that are only occasional right 
when, when we um, put responsibilities, uh, we need to put the essential activities. It's not good to uh, list tasks that are not uh, usually performed or those come once at a time, right? So um, we need to avoid that and do not include duties that may not be added uh, in the future, that may be added in the future. That means planning ahead, uh, we might want to include some duties in the position, but that might be um, that 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 might make the the uh, job description dense. And uh, the last one is um, need to be remain concise. Uh, will uh, enhance candidates' understanding. So. Uh, actually, there are there are five rules that we need to follow. The five C's. Uh, concise. Uh, uh, there are five rules. Uh, we we can apply those. Uh, are there any question uh, or? Oh, that's slack. Uh, is it clear what I'm talking about? Uh, so we need to avoid. Um, dense job description we have to make it concise and the other one is vague responsibilities um uh, it, it it has to be explicit uh the when we uh, list down the responsibilities we need to avoid uh, ambiguity in the job description uh if you are using uh, action verbs describe how the position executes those verbs uh, so so that the, the, the responsibilities uh, has to be uh, concise. And the other one is redundancy, uh, which means save yourself and your candidates time by avoiding redundancy. Don't try to uh, repeat uh, uh, things in the job description. So scan through your job description after you have uh, written the first draft and look for any repeated words or responsibilities. Uh, that means try to lumping related tasks together uh, in the uh, responsibilities or qualification section. Uh, the last one is jargon. That means when in doubt, always, always try to go with the uh, uh, simpler way of uh, wording. Um, additionally, make the language in your job description as inclusive as possible. Uh, and the last one is to make your job description inclusive, avoid using uh, gendered pronouns and refrain from including uh, inter uh, internal company lingo, language that uh, we speak uh, in, the, uh, in the company. So we have to be more formal um, and yeah, um and the other one is inaccurate ca uh, qualifications uh it's also best to include only the minimum required skills for uh, a given position do not include inaccurate qualifications uh, so yeah uh, listing unreasonable expectations uh, might provide you with uh, an overqualified candidate who isn't the right uh, long-term fit for the opening and the last one is prohibited uh, prohibited uh, language um, so before posting your uh, advertisement you need to brush up on those uh, requirements and avoid all uh, statements referring to age gender religion and marital status so these are the things that we need to avoid uh, in a job description. So yeah, this is how we create um, a job description. We need to include the components and make them uh, clear and concise. I hope that's clear. Uh, if you guys have uh, any questions, you are welcome. Uh, what kind of tasks can be Term it as uh, occasional. Uh, occasional means uh, 
tasks that are not performed daily, right? Um, for example, uh, as a data scientist, uh, you do data analysis, right? Something related to data, right? But, but once in a while, uh, your manager or your supervisor might ask you to organize um, an event for a get together, right? Uh, those are some occasional tasks which you cannot include in the job description. Uh, is that clear, Sustain? Hello? Yeah, yeah, clear. Okay. Um, any other question? Yeah, for the for the components, uh, th there are different templates. Uh, as I said, they they might be uh, more detailed. That means uh, the comp uh, listing the components one one by one, like salary, location, type of uh, employment, etc. And in other uh, templates, they they might combine them and call it um, job summary or position summary something like that all right um any questions any doubt is it clear if it's clear show me some reaction you on the wrong screen am i other than uh yeah that that that's <laughs> the the i'm done with the presentation that's why is it clear yeah yeah that's clear okay um then we can call it for the day then all right have a good evening bye you uh, you too uh... cheers